Hey guys, this is Azra here, and I'm back on Jinteki.net, this time playing some Kate. And we're trying something a little bit different. I'm trying to kind of run a bit of a hybrid build here, incorporating NetShield uh, alongside Artist Colony, uh, Notoriety, and really Professional Contacts as the main sort of driving engine for the deck. This was traditionally a hyperdriver deck that I've kind of tweaked a little bit and um, dropped the Faust, dropped the hyperdrivers and slotted in a uh, Parasite, um, Net Shield, uh, an extra Astrolabe just to try and basically give us a slightly better matchup against horizontal type decks. And I've also popped in two indexing, which I'm hoping is really going to save me against traps. Um, so having a quick look here, this isn't an awful starting hand. Really would like to see professional contacts early, but I kind of... I'm going to risk keeping this. The double diesel along with daily cast is just such a strong start. And funny enough, I'm up against Wayland building a better world, which I haven't seen in a long time. Um, can't remember the last time I played against this deck, actually. So expecting a lot of transactions. Um, ice, ice, credit. He did mull, so not an awful start for a mulled hand. We'll go ahead and see what we get. Okay, early artist colony is fine. Now, to be honest with you, I'm only running one artist colony, one notoriety. The reason I'm running one artist colony is to deal with Shiku's and news teams, and um, primarily because I've seen a lot of Shiku's and news teams in recent games, and I'm running the one notoriety to help me with matchups like the food coats game, where you kind of fear having to steal three or four agendas when really you can maybe just clinch out the game with the notoriety and um, play. So I think I'll probably go ahead and pop down the Mimic early here. Uh, I see no reason not to just take advantage of Kate's ability. Get the Mimic out early. And I don't even know if the Artist Colony is going to be useful this game, actually, if I'm really honest about it. Possibly for sacking a hostile takeover if I get really stuck. I think I'll just pop down the, the self-modifying code instead. So not a bad start for us. Um, this is okay. Two more diesels to draw into. Definitely would like to see one of our three professional contacts off the back of one of these two diesels next turn. And if we do, we'll be in a pretty sweet position. So where we're suffering then is in the sort of fast advanced NEH matchups here. We're running Clot um, and we are running two clone chips, but we're not running um, Sacrificial Construct, which I was previously. So we're definitely going to have a tougher game there. But, excuse me, we are running one Film Critic, which will help with the likes of um, Harpsichord. Um, there is Proko. We saw draw credit credit. So no money in Wayland at the minute. Could look to run, but we're very poor in credits, and I do want to get this Proko installed. So I think we're just going to head to archives here and get the professional contacts into play. We see a swordsman, which is fair enough. We no longer run Faust in this deck, so that is a okay. And an Astrolabe, which we could potentially get down before we start going for a remote, which could be great as well. Bearing in mind, I just ran there and could get Sea Source, so I need to be careful. And it's, it's a long time since I played against Wayland in general, actually. Okay, so we didn't get the Astrolabe down before the first remote came out, unfortunately. Uh, we are running one Plascrete. So, could look to start digging for that before I get overly aggressive, I think. Right now, being sort of seven credits behind, it might be a, a smarter decision. So draw, install, credit. Could be a Jackson. Could be just... I don't know. I mean, you don't expect to see a lot of remote economy out of uh, building a better world. Really, it should all be coming from transactions. So I'm not expecting like an Adonis or something like that that you'd see out of Blue Sun. So I'm not sure what to make of this. Could be a sneaky Atlas. Hmm. I think I'm just going to leave that be for now. Indexing's good. We're still a little bit purr for me to feel comfortable running. Notoriety's okay to see early. I think I might potentially just draw again and maybe drop the diesel on Artist Colony. Mm. We do have a lot of one-offs. You know, we have Film Critic, we actually have a Katie Jones, and uh, we have a one-off David, um, Clot, Parasite. And one of Atman's. There's lots of things that potentially um, Artist Colony could be used for, but I don't know if we're going to overly want to forfeit an agenda this game. I'm going to pop into play and see what happens. 
Now, if he triple advances out an Atlas here, I still don't think we're in a terrible spot. We can look to start applying some real pressure next turn. Oh, he's iced it up. Okay. Is he trying to sell the trap here, or is it just an upgrade? It could be something like an Ash or Caprice, and he might be about to drop like a public agenda into there. Either way, I don't think I really want anything to do with it right now. So I'm just going to continue to build up here. Not playing fantastic cards. We're not really getting, you know, we are relying on really Dirty Laundry, Sure Gambles, and um, as our main economy backbone. Definitely feeling the pinch without having the hyper drivers to really accelerate us into the sort of mid game. So I'm still hesitant here. I don't. Um, I'm curious to see what you guys think. I mean, I don't want to run and um, hit a snare or end up getting sea source on that until I've got some kind of protection or at least some sort of economy lead. I could go and force some res of ice here, but it wouldn't be enough to swing the economy back in my favour. Well, there's Kitty. Which do you know what? I'm going to go ahead and load up and let's put Lady into play as well. He might try and sneak out agenda here, noticing how passive we're being. But we are a late game deck. Uh, if we're not against fast events or any edge or something like that, I don't see any real reason to push. And there's a melange. Hmm. We've got to go trash that. But, hmm. Is Sea Source going to be a problem here? Yeah, I really would like to see my Plasky right now, but we have to trash that. We can't let him just sit and gain seven credits a turn. Although in saying that, between Proko and Katie, we're, we're kind of equaling that in cards and money anyway, so maybe it's not the worst in the world. I feel like by this point, he's going to have a couple of ha a couple of agendas in his deck, in his hand, sorry. I'm actually realising he's running a large deck as well, so he's got 46 cards in his R&D, with five in his hand, three in the bin, so he must be running extra agendas. Um, gonna continue to money up here, I think. Okay, that's good. Okay, they're both good. I don't think there's any reason to get overly aggressive. I mean, obviously he's about to kind of extend this financial lead, but we do run a legwork. So a well-timed legwork could kind of put us up and over this game if we can kind of get a plastic route installed at the same time. So yeah, definitely curious to see what you guys think in terms of aggression level here. Not sure if being this passive is good, but I, I really don't think it's that bad for us. Okay. Yeah, pretty sure I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm uh, almost adamant this Dave is going to see play, so I'm, I'm more than happy to chuck that out early. The prevalence of Assassin at the moment is uh, pretty crazy, but the money lead continues to grow for him. Uh, Atman would probably just want to drop into the bin. And Net Shield, I imagine, is absolutely going to see no play this game. Can't think of a card he'd be using. Potentially snare. I mean, this is looking like kind of. I was about to say a core deck, but we have seen swordsman, I guess. But no, we got a net shield. We uh, are running a levy. Oh, going to get an extra card. Um, yeah, ready eyes could be pretty strong for us here. It's always good as a safety net with mimic when you've got the things like itchy uh, 1.0 to deal with. But I just got to imagine there's a couple of agendas in that hand right now. And is this server one a field trap attempt? Scavenge is handy. I'm tempted to just pop off the net ready here. Um, I, I want the indexing maker's eye and I potentially want the notoriety. But I think having the net ready uh, in play is going to be quite handy. So yeah. Okay, so we lose an indexing in the Mecha's Eye. That's all right. I'm okay with that. 
and there's a Gordian blade. So <laughs> we haven't even ended up using this health modifying code here. I think we're probably going to end up just installing our entire rig while he kind of dirtles about here. Um, not really putting any pressure on our remote at all. Ice is the melange, which oh, makes me feel like maybe he doesn't have the kill in hand. Hmm. Haven't seen any influence except for the swordsman yet. Getting a bit greedy in this kitty. 15 credits is, is quite high. A snatch and grab would make me incredibly sad, so we may end up taking that in just a moment. Film critic's good here. Yeah, I think store the Gordian, install the film critic, take the credits from Katie, I think it's gonna be the play. And it brings us pretty close in the money, but realistically not that much. But I guess the thing to note is we can get in wherever we want now. We've got the clone chip for the Atman, if we need it. Ah, okay. So he's actually, oh, he's milled off our legwork and a Proko, which is fine. Okay, so this is an interesting spot. So he's going to be potentially milling two cars per advancement if I don't run this underway renovation, but we don't have our Plascrete yet. So potentially Diesel, see if we can hit the Plascrete, I think it's gonna be the play. We do, so that's good. And then I think we've got to go check out what this is at server three. Uh, target for net ready, we'll do the mimic. We do still have the film critic if we fear mid seasons. Trying to work out if we do. We obviously don't have the economic advantage, so it might be the safer play to stick it on the film critic here. Oh, toll booth. Uh, so I lose three credits for that. But I'm able to pay through it with a David counter rather than boosting Gordian, which I think I'm actually going to do just to try and give us uh, as much of a financial advantage as I can. And I think I might just host this. Yeah, I think it's just a better safe than sorry kind of situation here. Um, I don't want to risk being mid-seasons when I've got quite so many um, resources that I'm relying on. We've still got two sure gambles, two dirty laundries and a daily cast to see. And he's getting a bit bold now. So installs a card after bean stalking. So we could take, we could take underway renovation off film critic and then run this if it's snare we can clear the tag but then we're vulnerable to sea source but really i think he would have sea source there if he had it hmm we're really not sure what this server four is going to be that i really care about so I think I'm just going to leave it where it is. And we can potentially start parasiting down this toll booth just to be a bit of a nuisance to him. Let's host that. Do I need to empty this game? It could potentially be really useful for the likes of Ice Wall. Wall of Static, maybe. Not really. We're definitely topping up Kitty, and then we're just considering whether I want to install or drop stuff here. The clot I don't think is really much for us. I don't think the inti is going to be a lot either. So let's just proco. Uh, Levy's okay. I want to keep the same old thing available though, so I'm actually going to keep the levy in hand. So we have the same old thing. So we could potentially leg work. That's a pad campaign, all right. So he's continuing to get money. He's using Melange and pad alongside Transaction Economy. It's a very core looking deck, except obviously we've got Restructure and Swordsman seen so far. Okay, I think we're just gonna continue to money up here. 
self-modifying code is pretty dead. I should gamble. And we're very close to kind of catching up on the economy here. He definitely can melange and kind of extend it out again, but all the while he's burning through his deck. This is probably a Jackson with maybe a couple of face-down agendas in the bin. And an upgrade on HQ could be Chrisium Grid. Could be that one that I will never remember, which that you have an extra two cards in your hand. Nope, doesn't look like it's that. So Chrisium is probably the likely option. Or it could always be a Cyberdex. Don't think we're relying on too much, which is going to be affected by that. It could obviously be a, a nuisance for Parasite. So the question is now, do I want to try putting pressure on? Because we could look to index, but if that is a Jackson, then we should maybe look to pop it first by running the bin. So I think, yeah, with four face down cards, let's go see what's going on in the bin. And we can always take the money from Katie if needs be. So no further reaction. We see, ooh. Dedication ceremony, okay, so he's obviously looking to advance public agendas and like mill us out or gain a lot of money from those, so he's got to have a couple in hand. Um, and take the money from Katie just as a precaution. I was kind of hoping to draw into something like a sure gamble there, but didn't. Um, we've still got one sure gamble, a daily cast, and two dirty laundries in the deck. So in the last seven cards, we've still got a good bit of money. Very slow one here. Um, I don't see, still at this point, any reason why I would want to be going faster. I now have the economy advantage, which is big. Oh, and he's starting to play this game again. Okay. So we could run here, pay three, steal the agenda with a David counter. I mean, I don't see why not. We could also host it to just potentially avoid a mid-season. Influence-wise, we've still only seen three influence. So it might not be mid-season, it might just be sea source, but we've got a reasonable amount of cash. We could try and draw a little bit and see the last sure gamble. There's just one in there, and it's really the only card we'd want to see if we do draw. But we do have a full Plascrete, so are we really concerned? Not overly. Let's draw once. And it is the sure gamble. Okay, so that's good. So we've got lucky one and five for there. So sure gamble, run the server. Yeah, this is pretty good. I guess I could have used Gordian, but uh, has he forced me to spend three? No, he hasn't, so I'll just spend three. Spend a David counter and trot on in. And again, I'm just going to be overly cautious here and host on Film Critic. Again, curious what you guys think about that. Am I just being a little bit overkill? Um, I mean, considering I have an 8 credit advantage here, the mid is definitely not as threatening. Um, Money-wise, we've seen 1 restructure, 3 beanstalk, 2 eyes. So he's definitely got a couple of restructure and a hedge potentially in there, but I've got to think in his 5-card hand there's at least 3 agendas just chilling in there right now. So the threat of restructure, trying to mid-seasons is there, but maybe not as, as worrying as I think it is. Uh, for sake of saving our credit, I could clone chip. I don't even think there's going to be anything I need to clone ship for. The yeah, Atman and Parasite are both viable. And if he does scorch me, I'd rather get rid of the Plascrete counters and then levy it back in so I do get a second round of Plascrete. Oh my goodness, okay, so yeah, we know where the agendas are. <laughs> so I guess what we're going to do is go in and start forcing him to red stuff. We've got the scavenge for the David, which is good. He's going to give us an extra card. Is it just another pad campaign? Or is he now actually trying to think that I haven't run anything the entire game and now it's time to strike? Do you know what? I think I'm going to call him on the bluff this time. And we're going to go check out and find out what this is. See if it's a wee atlas that's trying to be snuck out. 
pad campaign. No thanks. Okay, so just take the agenda. Post on Katie, carry on. So Katie is really doing a lot of work here. Running one Katie Jones or Caddy Jones is not the strongest thing, but professional context only sees you so far when you're playing playing a game or an end game, sorry. He's continuing to devote ice to these pad campaigns, which I think is a little bit uh, OTT, but all right. So I think Mecker's eyes on the cards. First click next turn. He has installed a card behind the Tobrith, which I don't think we're interested in. So let's go have a nosy. The question is, do we index beforehand? We don't know that this isn't a Jackson server one, so I don't know if I want to waste the indexing at this point. So I'm just going to Mecker's eyes straight in. Oh, Hadrian's is actually a bit of a pain considering we only have one counter on David, but we can boost Lady up and one counter from Lady's really not that bad. So four credits and a counter's all right. When he's paying 10, I'm actually pretty okay with that. I keep forgetting I'm not actually against Blue Sun here and he can't just lift this up and end our world. Paywall? Ooh, okay. Hades, lovely. And Excalibur. All right. Well, that's actually a small issue for us considering we're no longer using Faust, but we do have Atman if we really needed to get around Excalibur. So that wasn't bad. Could potentially index to go and see another three cards. But I don't think that's really worth it. I think I'll just hold off here. And yeah, I'll drop the card. Okay, so I think next turn potentially is just dirty laundry. We'll pop the levy and we've got a second cycle through our deck where really we're, we're pretty comfortable considering we now have a, a 13 credit lead. Ooh, he is advancing. Is he going to score this out? No? Oh. Now, posted bounty is always a potential threat. Um, you could just score that, give it forfeit to give us a tag and then go for the kill, but again, I'm really giving him the benefit of the doubt that he has a kill in hand. If we run it, worst case scenario, it could be a Shattered Remains. We'd lose three bits of hardware, which would actually be pretty poor for us. Hmm. Notoriety is not gonna, gonna clinch this, unfortunately. And there's no point dirty laundering R&D. So let's just have a look at archives here. Get the cash. No way, no Jackson popped. We just see the paywall, which is fine. Yeah, let's just levy. Let's see what we get. Okay, more money, more draw, which we probably really don't need. If that is a posted bounty, he'd have three chances. So potentially Scorch, Scorch, Scorch would do the deal. Worst case scenario, it would kill us. Could just dirty laundry his hand here, but probably gonna get chrisiumed. We now can't clone it for the Atman as well, I just realized. Mm. At least we don't fear Archer. Assassin, we can always pay through the traces if we really want to. I can't believe we're under so much pressure here, considering considering we're five nil up. If this is a post bounty, it's really bad. If this is just another five three, it's okay. I mean, I don't feel like he's actually on the kill here. And I feel like the winning agenda is probably in his hand. So let's go check his hand out. The one David counter is just making me a little nervous. Okay, so can make another one this turn, no problem. So that'll fire, which is fine. She's actually running two Excalibur, okay. Firewall is absolutely fine, so.
A shock caprice on HQ would be kind of interesting here. Another firewall, okay. So we're burning through the, the Lady Counters here. And we did shuffle away scavenge. I just realized potentially scavenging before levying would have been a good call. So, Chrysium. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. And in hand, we get the winning agenda. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we probably had at least three and five, if not like four and five odds there. We had hardly seen any agendas on his side of the table. And none had been shuffled back in. And even though he was playing, uh, yeah, too many cards. Yeah. So, yeah. So I think maybe he's trying to jam in too much economy. Um, I think relying on Melange and Pad Campaigns alongside the transaction economy of Wayland's maybe asking a little bit too much of it. Um, but just having that economy advantage did give us a really kind of slow start to the game where we had to be careful. And I think this Katie Jones or Katie Jones really helped us kind of see through um, any threats. So, yeah. Well, look, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll give this deck another whirl and see if we can come up against something like an NEH or an Industrial Genomics to see how it holds up. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.